Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. My name is Ari, and I'm a Bluebeam Certified Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to learn how to use the Edit PDF Content functions. We can find our Edit PDF Content functions under the Edit dropdown, and then we can mouse over PDF Content, and the first option is Snapshot Content. This is very similar to the regular Snapshot tool. You'll actually notice that the Snapshot tool is highlighted right now. The only difference between this tool and the Snapshot tool is that the Snapshot tool will also pick up actual markups, while this tool is only meant for content itself. Content is considered vector data that's been made by a CAD, BIM, or word processing program. So let's make a box around this grid line right here. Now we can simply Control C to copy it and then Control V to paste. This is almost identical to the Snapshot tool as you can see here. Let's get rid of this. And after deleting, the next markup in line has been selected automatically, so let's make sure to press the Escape key. Let's go back to the Edit dropdown, PDF Content, and the next tool is Cut Content. This functions like a cut and paste tool, so we can use this to simply delete an object. It's now on our clipboard, so we could either do Control c or right-click and paste. And now we have this snapshot that we can use as a markup if we want to. Let's undo a few times. Now we'll have our grid line back. And now let's go back to the edit dropdown, PDF content, and erase content does function very similar to the cut content, except that it simply erases an object and it doesn't put it on your clipboard. So now this object has been erased. Let's go back to the edit dropdown, mouse over PDF content, and the next function is select text. We can select all vector data, copy it, and paste it into a word processing program. You'll notice that I have a dotted border around my cursor right now, and as I move closer to actual vector data text, Review will detect this. So now I can select the text by holding my left mouse button, and now I can simply Control C to copy it. We can open up a notepad, and we'll do Control V to paste it. So we can take text that's been flattened to our page and quickly put it into a word processing program. Let's go back to the Edit dropdown, PDF content, and we can use select all text. This function is quite powerful, but on a construction document, review tends to pick up extra objects that are not necessarily text. For example, all of the highlighted objects are vector data, but not all of them are actual written text. They have text properties, such as these areas right here, but they're not text. So we're going to switch to another document that has words instead of actual objects made in a CAD program. This credit card authorization form was initially made with Microsoft Word and converted to a PDF. So we can use this as a great example. Let's go to the Edit dropdown, PDF Content, and select all text. All of our text has been selected. This also includes indents and spaces in between lines. You'll notice that the image above has not been selected. And that's because this is considered raster data. As we zoom in, it gets more pixelated. And this image is not vector data text, so it was not selected. We'll press the Escape key, and let's go back to the Edit dropdown, PDF Content, and Edit Text. You'll notice that Review flashed, and our image has grayed out. And you can see that we have a flashing cursor next to the first set of text on our screen. Review is now in Edit Text mode, so we can literally edit text without having to worry about copying and cutting text out and then pasting new text on top of it. So a good example of this would be if we needed to change this form from a credit card authorization form to a debit card authorization form. We simply need to click next to this text right here. We can backspace to delete it, and we can type in the word debit, all in uppercase. And you'll see that review picked up on the same font that was used on this line. I recommend that when you use this function that you edit one line at a time, and when you're done, you press the escape key to cancel out of the command. That way, if you edit multiple lines, but you make a mistake, you won't be able to undo during the command. So I recommend that you do one line, press the escape key, and then activate the command one more time by going to edit PDF content and edit text. Now, review is ready to edit the next set of text. We want to edit this line here because it says the word credit and it needs to say the word debit. So we're gonna click inside of the word. We can use our arrow keys to move our cursor. And we can now delete this word and type in the word debit. And review is still picking up on the fact that it's not bold, it's just regular text, and it has the same exact font 
while doing this, you can open up properties and you can see what the actual font is. And when you're done, you can press the escape key. Now we've used edit text and we've turned this credit card authorization form into a debit card authorization form. Thank you very much for watching our tutorial on editing PDF content. Once again, my name is Ari and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. Hope you have a great rest of your day.